Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about emulation on the Steam Deck and specifically we're going to talk about the BIOS files. Alright, so while emulators are legal, you'll notice that all emulators don't come with the BIOS file. So why is that? And what is a BIOS file? Think of them as like the operating system for the consoles you are emulating and that is copyrighted code, alright? So copyrighted material. And that's why emulators can't bundle that copyrighted code into their work. Because if they do, that makes the emulators illegal and they can't distribute it. Alright, so in order to play the emulators, people would need to dump or copy their BIOS from their own consoles. Alright, that's the legal way. You'd have to own the console and you would have to copy the BIOS file to your computer and use it on the emulator. But that process is complicated and many things can go wrong. All right, you'll need a hack console, you'll need specific um, software tools to copy over the BIOS. And, you know, even if you did that, you might have a bad dump and, you know, the, the BIOS doesn't work on your emulator. And how do you overcome that? So here's my tip, all right? Go to the internet, okay, the web browser, and go to the internet archive, so archive.org. And some people would actually upload their working BIOS file onto this website for preservation, all right? So make sure that you don't download the BIOS file and use it for yourself because that will be illegal. You need to use your own BIOS from your own console, all right? So this is only just to um, cross-reference to check, you know, if your BIOS file is a uh, working one, all right? So let's say I want to play Crazy Taxi on my Steam Deck. I need the Dreamcast BIOS, okay? And I dumped it from my um, Dreamcast. All right, and then I go here, I check, see if anyone's uploaded a working one because my one's not working, for, for example. So I go here, Dreamcast BIOS, all right. Don't download it because that's illegal to use. All right, I'm going to use my own one, but I can click here, show all. All right, and why would I do that? Because I want to know the format of the, the structure of the BIOS, all right. So here I can see, oh, okay, there's a file called dc underscore boot dot bin. And that's a two megabyte file. And there's a DC underscore flash stop feed. That's a 128 kilobyte file, all right? So that's basically the format of the, the BIOS dump, all right? So I'll have to match that with the dump that I did, all right? So once you've checked and everything's good, all right, go to Emudeck on your Steam Deck, all right? Emudeck is a program that manages your emulators and ROMs. So it's very useful. If you don't know how to install it, I have a video. I'll leave a link in the description. And I'll also leave a card. If you, you can click on that right now, if you want to install Emudeck, okay. So I assume you already have it. And there's a function inside Emudeck called BIOS Checker, okay. So if you go in here, you'll know that um, which BIOS you have and you don't have. So currently I only have the Nintendo Switch one, okay. But um, I want to play Crazy Taxi on the Dreamcast. So I want to get the Dreamcast BIOS as well. Uh, you'll notice that for the Dreamcast, it's not mandatory. It's uh, recommended, okay? So you don't really need it to play. But um, I have the Dreamcast and I already dumped it. So I want to try it out, okay? So here, how do I put it here? Okay, you need to go to your uh, Dolphin, your File Explorer. So I have my dumped um, BIOS. Here in this folder called DC. Okay, so you can see inside DC dot uh, DC underscore boot dot bin the two megabyte file and the DC underscore flash stop bin 128 kilobyte file. It's here. These are the um the VMU so the set, the memory cards. All right. So I just copied this folder, and I because my MU deck is installed onto my SD card. I'm gonna go to my SD card and it's in the emulation folder. And then there's a folder called BIOS, all right? So I just paste the folder here, so the DC folders here. And then I go back to my MU deck and the BIOS files checker, check again, and you can see it's green. So it detected that my Dreamcast BIOS is there, all right? So that's how you do it, all right? So make sure you don't go to this website to download. This website is only for you to cross-check. Make sure that your files, the structure is correct and the file size is correct, all right? So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.